So almost a year ago, I posted a video about Closet Bronies, a brony who hides their passion for the show primarily from their family counterparts, fear and ridicule. I've long since been wanting to respond to this, and then I forgot about it, thinking I may have made it too big of a deal. However, I received a surprisingly large amount of feedback over time on this matter to the point where it started to get serious. Not to mention, when I searched Closet Bronies on YouTube, my video was the top result. So now I've come to realize that I should put an end to what I've started. Since a lot of time has gone by, I'll first run down my story in order to stay up to date. At the time, I was partially a Closet Brony. I first told my dad about this after I got into the fandom since he reads Time Magazine, and they were one of the first to take notice on Bronies through an article. Then there's also Fox News, which doesn't need to be said already. After telling him and explaining a few things, he didn't mind at all. I go as far as to even mention that I showed him the recordings of Dave and Chuck's bashing on the fandom. He simply implied that he couldn't even watch it halfway through. Over time, I told him a thing or two, and still he just thought the same. I told Mom a little while back, but I'll explain my story on that part later. Getting on the topic at hand, the first majority of the responses were the result of, my parents didn't seem to care. While it does feel somewhat underwhelming, it's also very relieving from trying to be so secretive all the time. This peculiar mindset people have in which if parents would be upset or be disappointed about what they like doing, there's a potential that becomes a family dilemma. This also leads to the second mass of responses. It didn't go very well. After confessing, some people have unfortunately dealt with literal ridicule, a questioning of their sexual orientation, and school harassment. So this isn't just on the parents' side, this is also dealing with siblings, uncles, and friends in school. Much like furries, trekkies, emos, and other labels from varied cultures, bronies have often been misunderstood. But the worst part is, of course, is when it dives into family dilemmas. Some people online have been asking me to find solutions on this, but in that regard, I can't guarantee any clear results. I'm no miracle man. Family dilemmas are narrowed down to what you have to do personally in order to figure this out. While I'm at it, this roots down to how you tell them. The tone, the way you explain everything, and just overall what you were hoping for, but only led to disastrous results. This is also very important. As some videos have satirized this, some bronies have reacted and confessed in a very negative and overdramatic approach. The best example of how not to do this, however, was demonstrated by JaxBlade07. I suggest just being really calm and collected. About it. I mean, you don't have to make it seem all dramatic like, I am a brody. I can't hold it any longer. I am a brody. And why can't you just accept me? You don't have to be like that, okay? It's just a one time thing, okay? Just be like, dude, you watch My Little Pony, just be like, yeah, I do. Pretty good job. That's all you have to say. You don't have to make it all dramatic. You have to be like, oh, oh, oh yeah, just. Be yourself with it, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. As we speak, Jacksplate is correct. Confessing in such a negative manner results in a negative impression of who is listening, so they'll respond in a negative outcome, and thus everything you have done desperately will bite you so hard in the ass. Be mellow and professional about it. Don't let your passion get the fears of you. His video also explains other forms of insight, but I'll leave it open for you to check it out. Some various resources are made to clear out the understanding. This finally leads me to a few concluding factors. First off, I should explain how I told my mom. In November last year, when I was at Equestria LA, I texted her a link to a website hosted by Little Shy FIM called WhatIsABrony.com, where it explains all the details needed. She understood, had no problem at all, and even got me a Doctor Who shirt for Christmas, mainly for med school reasons. Overcoming this fear is resolved in many ways, how your attitude is straightened and planned out and what you can provide. It's not a guarantee that it'll resolve for the better, Sometimes you have to take hard steps and allow yourself some time for things to settle down. Also, just because you have someone accept you for who you are does not mean you should convince others to watch the show. Because the brony fandom has been mentioned a lot, discussing the show itself has been so beaten to death. No one should have to watch something and like it. That's their call on the matter. The idea on this topic is to show an understanding and settling the issue. For resources to provide, like I did, you can start with that website. Other resources include Ballad of the Brony by Sabersbark, as well as the upcoming Brony Chronicles. There's plenty more to go by, but this is all I can think of for the time being. For more pony discussions, check out Pilio's videos that were published in early 2012, and hopefully another form of understanding should be straightened out. I hope this helps and resolves their issues. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all later.